Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Stock My Closet. Today I'm sharing stitching of balloon top. If you want to check out the cutting video, you can click the link in the i button on the screen or in the description box. So let's get started. Firstly, I'll add pleats on the front, mark tuck on the center. I have taken 12 inch for pleats while cutting. Now from the center mark 1 inch on both sides. This is for pleat. Leave half inch again. Mark 2 inch for pleat. Again leave half inch and mark 2 inch for pleat. Repeat the same on the other side. Now I'll just pin up the pleats, join both points of 2 inch mark and pin it up. So I have pinned up all the pleats. Now I will make a stitch till 14 inch on all the pleats. So I made a stitch. Now similarly I will stitch all the pleats. Pleats are ready, cross check with pattern, just fold the fabric and place the pattern and trim the excess fabric. Now I'll cut the front neckline, neck width is 3 inch. Neck depth is 7 inch, adding half inch for seam allowance. Again mark neck width point and join these points. Now I'll draw round neck shape and I'll cut it. Similarly, I have cut 6 inch deep neck for the back. Now I will stitch shoulder slope on both sides and I will overlock it. Now I will finish the neckline and armholes using bias tape. I already have a detailed video on the same and I have shared the link in the description box. So I am just skipping this part. I have finished the neckline and armholes. Now I'll stitch side fitting seam on both sides. 
So I made a stitch and I've overlocked the raw edges on both sides. And now I'll finish the bottom round of the top with the elastic. I've taken quarter inch or 0.25 inch wide elastic for the bottom. So I've cut out the elastic and I've taken 3 inch less than the round measurement. Now fold the elastic by half and mark the center. Now place the edge of elastic on the edge of the seam like this and pin it up. Okay. Match the center to the other end of the top and pin it up. And take rest of the elastic around the back and match the edges and pin it up. Now I'll make a stitch. Match the fabric and elastic edge. Place it between the foot and make a zigzag stitch all around. I'll just stretch the elastic and I'll make a zigzag stitch. If you don't have zigzag stitch then you can use the alternate method as we do for the plazos or trousers. Just make the casing and insert the elastic at the bottom round of the top.
So I have attached the elastic and this is how it looks. So I have attached the elastic. Now turn it towards the wrong side. Stretch the elastic and make a stitch on the zigzag edge. So I made a stitch and with this my top is completed and this is how it looks. Thanks for watching guys, hope you like this video. If you do please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I will see you soon till then take care, bye bye.